Today we're going to paint up some zombie skin and we're going to do a couple different recipes and uh, that isn't just green, but it's still mostly green. Zomb zombie skin's got a lot of green to it. Welcome to another episode of Blaster Kitty Painting. Today I'm going to do something a little different. Normally I pick some miniatures and I paint them from start to finish and show you the finished product and maybe you learn something or maybe you just get an idea for some colors uh, but today I'm gonna go through some different recipes for different zombie skin using some easy techniques that you guys can do at home for your zombies or whatever I don't know if you have zombies I do have lots we're gonna use some Old West zombies these are 3d prints from 3d breed um, it was part of their Plains of Terror Kickstarter campaign these are super cool. I was really uh, psyched to get into this campaign. It's all like horror Wild West, which is awesome. So let's do it. So we'll give these guys a spray of black and a Xenophil of white from above. And the first one we're going to do is some dead flesh. So this is just like a classic way to paint zombie skin. Get that dead flesh and just put it all over the skin. Now we're going to take some speed paint medium and some Beal tan green and we're going to put that all over the dead flesh we just painted. Then we'll take our dead flesh again and we will do a dry brush over that. And that is one way to do zombie skin. Next we're going to take some battleship gray and we're going to put in a little bit of speed paint medium and we're going to go all over the skin with this. Now this is going to be really light, but it's going to work out in the end. Trust me. Then we're going to take some Dritchy Violet and some Speed Paint Medium. And we're going to go all over that Battleship Gray we just did. So this is going to add quite a bit of uh, lividity to the skin. Now we're going to take some bone white here and some battleship gray. We're going to mix that together and then we're going to dry brush over what we just did with that uh, purple wash. And that is yet another way of doing zombie skin. Next, we're going to take some maggot skin here and we're going to just go all over the zombie skin with this maggot skin. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, out of all the ones I did, this is, I think, my favorite. So just keep that in mind. Next, we're going to take some Targor Raid Shader. We're going to water that down a little bit with Speed Paint Medium, and we're just going to put that all over the skin. So, as you can see, we're doing base colors, washes, and then dry brushing. These are easy ways to do zombie skin. And we go back to that bone white, and we just do a dry brush of that. And we're doing a very light dry brushing on all of these. We're not going pretty heavy-handed with it. And living in the Old West would be awful. I mean, it's kind of like fun to pretend and play a game in the Old West and the adventure, but the Old West was, well, it's, it's an awful place. So, so many people died of just like getting sick. Like in movies and shows, the gun violence is like really high, but most, most people passed away from just like sickness and the elements back then. That, the death toll for that is way higher. Um... Anyway, it's awful. Imagine being a zombie then. That'd just be even worse. Next one, we're going to take some Plague Bear Flesh. And this is going all over the skin. So this is paint is really for this. The same as like the maggot skin for the last one. These paints really are made for zombie skin or Nurgle skin and stuff like that. I'm going to take some Rattling Grime and some Speed Paint Medium, and this is going to go all over it. So we just want to work this in, move it around. Um, don't let it pull too heavily. Just let it go where it needs to in the recesses. So move it around as you need to get it in there. This is my second favorite of the ones that we did. Then we're going to take some Bone White, yep, and we're going to just dry brush that up. Next, we're going to take some ghoul green and some speed paint medium, and this is going all over the skin here. So, again, as you see, we're doing base colors, washes, dry brushing. We're just doing easy skin here, lots of variation of colors, so they all look a little different. 
Take some Berserker Bloodshade and a little Speed Paint Medium there, and this is just going all over that ghoul green we just did. Next, we're going to take some Camouflage Green here, and we're just going to dry brush that over that. We'll take some peachy flesh we'll do one that i guess has been dead less time than the others so this is just going all over the skin here just that peachy flesh and we're taking some pox walker here and it's going all over that peachy flesh we did so just make sure you let the speed paints dry appropriately because you don't want to reactivate them but i did not have any problems whatsoever with reactivation and i am using all the 2.0 uh, speed paints at least i believe i am i bought the 2.0 box anyway here we go and we're going to take some pale flesh and we're just going to do a dry brush over that Once that's done, I'll take my colors that I want to paint all these miniatures and I will go through and I'll start just painting them out normally. I'm just using some speed paints, really easy methods here to paint, nothing crazy. Just go through and get all my colors on there. Next, I'll take Slaughter Red, Carmine Dragon, Poppy Red, Bite Red, all the reds, and I'm going to fill in all these little spots that they have. So, cuts, scrapes, any spots where uh, there would be flesh or blood underneath the skin and also the mouths. I'm going to go through and fill in all those spots and just pick whichever red you want. It doesn't have to be red. You could do pink or yellow, like any rotten sort of colors or a yellowish brown. I just picked red here for maximum contrast. Then we're going to take some livery green and we are just going to dot in their eyes. Finish up the bases and these guys are done. And here they are all finished up. And you know what? Like once you get all those other colors on them, they end up looking really good. And we've got a bunch of different um, shades of green, which is nice. So it's not all just the same green. Although these first two look kind of similar. I do like this one a lot more. Um, but these are easy ways to paint up some zombies. This one turned out really cool too with the peachy flesh and the pox walker. Um, really kind of a different tone there for zombie skin. The uh, battleship gray one here turned out really nice. I do like that, especially contrasting with the uh, sort of purple suit that he has on. That I think looks really good. This one turned out to be my favorite. I really like how this one turned out. It's got a little bit of a Reagan from the Exorcist thing going on there. And the ghoul green one here, um, I think it might be my least favorite, but I still like it. It's There's something to it that I really enjoy. So that's super easy ways to do zombie skin. Um, this is a little bit different of a format of video for me. Like I normally paint the whole miniature and don't just talk about one aspect so i guess that maybe that means that i'm growing as a as a painter or a youtuber i'm not growing I'm not growing i've grown growing wider what do you guys think is any of this helpful to you does any of this uh make you want to paint zombies or help you paint your zombies that you have let me know in the comments below and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. And you guys have a great day. So we give these guys a spray of black and a zenithal of white from above. And we... Let's get above.